what's going on guys, Chris Travis here with Fandroid.com, taking a look at the OnePlus 3 and this uh, sort of lovely care package that OnePlus supplied us with. Now we received this a couple days ago and I've been playing with the phone, super impressed with it um, and kind of just wanted to show you guys what you get in the box when you buy the phone and maybe cover some of these little accessories and things that we also received with it. So uh, first things first, let's just go ahead and unbox the phone. Uh, now OnePlus is kind of doing something a little bit different this year with the OnePlus 3. They're taking a sort of a different strategy or approach to their phone. Uh, last year's model in the OnePlus 1 and OnePlus 2, they were kind of rallying behind this whole uh, flagship killer type slogan. Um, and in a way, it kind of just like backfired on them. Um, people were, of course, trying to find ways where you know it didn't match up to the competition and the fact that the OnePlus 2 was missing NFC. Uh, that people were just like, that's not, you're not killing any, any flagships with that. So this year, <clears throat> they kind of eased up on that. I don't know if they're a little more humble this year, just learn some things, but, um, they're kind of just letting the phone speak for itself. So, um, and that's exactly what this phone does. <laughs> it's, it's pretty darn amazing. So you get pretty much flagship quality specs, uh, in a price tag that's probably more or less along the lines of like, a. Uh, uh, mid-range phone so that $400 and you get you know Snapdragon 820 processor 6 gigabytes of RAM big battery gorgeous big display fingerprint sensor all that good stuff so it easily matches you know the HTC 10 Samsung all these other big smartphone manufacturers but you know it comes in at about 200 or maybe even $300 less uh, than what those guys are asking and that's pretty pretty damn impressive especially considering the quality of the phone you're getting here so Anodized aluminum, unibody display or uh, casing, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, there were concerns that you know this looked very similar to, say, uh, HTC One M9 or maybe even the iPhone. You do have the same billet drilled little holes there at the bottom. Um, but holding it in the hand, I have to say that I am really impressed with just how solid, how thin it is. Um, and how good it just feels to hold in the hand. It's it's it's, it's pretty darn amazing. Um, before we get too far into the OnePlus 3, let's take a look at what comes in the box. So, um, opening it up, you get the, you know the standard documentation, instruction guides, and all that fun stuff. Uh, SIM removal tool, nice little never settle sticker. I'm gonna put this on my car. Uh, and again, the user manuals and all that fun stuff. You also receive the dash charger. So this is OnePlus's proprietary fast charging method for the, the OnePlus 3. Uh, and it's capable of delivering over 60% of battery in less than a 30 minutes of, of charge, of charging time. Damn impressive. But you have to use the power adapter that's included and in this type C cable to type A. Uh, in order to reap those benefits. So these, you'll need to hang on to these. And you could actually order extra from their website as well. Uh, and that's kind of it for the box of the OnePlus 3. So back to the phone, you have a 5.5 inch 1080p AMOLED display. Uh, OnePlus is calling it optic for some reason or another. I think it's because they have some controls to fine tune some of the, uh, the, the, the color warmth and stuff of the display. And it looks pretty damn good. Uh, using it. You can't really see any pixels when using it normally. I mean, you can show this to about 100 different people and no one will be able to tell you that it's not a Quad HD display. Uh, 1080p is more than fine for something of this size uh, and I'm pretty darn impressed with it. Uh, you have capacitive buttons on the front here and here and you have a really lightning quick fingerprint sensor. You can see how fast that thing just works. So, um, Again, all of this amazingness in a phone that's uh, 400 bucks. I don't know how they did it. Um, 60 megapixel camera with OIS, uh, and it uses electronic image stabilization as well. Uh, LED flash, 8 megapixel camera on the front. Uh, the sensor is a Sony uh, IMX298, which is pretty much the same one you would find in the Huawei Mate 8 and a couple of other devices. So it's not commonly used, but uh, camera quality was, was good. Was was very, very decent, um, especially considering the price tag. Um, also inside, 64 gigabytes of internal storage, which is pretty darn nuts considering, again, the pricing. 64 gigabytes. So there's only one model. So you just get the 64 gigabytes internal storage model. There's only one color, which is this kind of graphite color that you see here. 
uh, or Space Gray, I believe, as Apple calls it. Um, and it's it's absolutely gorgeous. There is NFC this time around, so you can use Android Pay and other things that use NFC. So there really are very little shortcomings when it comes to the phone. Dual SIM card slot there, uh, and you get OnePlus's trademark little volume slider or the um, notification slider. So you can change between priority, all notifications, priority, and um, no notifications at all. Super handy to have a physical button for that, and I love, absolutely love it. Uh, and it's just so darn thin and amazing. Uh, the other cool thing about the phone, Snapdragon 820 processor, so it's incredibly fast. It's easily one of the fastest phones I have ever used in my life, and I've, I've been looking for something that has matched the 6P in terms of speed, and this definitely does that. The six gigabytes of RAM is also incredibly nice. Uh, let me see if I can just show you how that, that looks. <laughs> so you have a lot of background apps that are open. Things very rarely close out. Uh, once you open the app, it just kind of stays there. Uh, there have been some people that have been sort of, ooh, <laughs> investigating some things. Uh, camera opens up super quick as well. And found that you know it kind of taps out at about 12 apps open in the background. Um, but there is some a couple tweaks and mods that you can do. Just a simple build prop edits where you can have it so that it, there's about 22 apps open in the background at any given time. And that is a whole other story and topic of, um, I guess, another time. But uh, that is the OnePlus 3. Super impressed with it. Battery life has been really, really great for me. I'm getting about four to four and a half hours of screen on time so far, which is astounding considering I don't get that on any phone, even with the Nexus 6P with a 3,500 milliamp hour battery. And I keep you know, lo location services on. I was using this phone for taking pictures, uploading to Snapchat videos, doing all kinds of crazy stuff at E3. And it took me throughout the whole day and then some four hours of screen on time. That's just, it's absolutely nuts. And then when you want to charge it, you know, you have the dash charger which just delivers, uh, it's just, it's insane. Uh, you can fully charge your phone in less than an hour. Um, a half hour you have for just over 60% battery. That's absolutely nuts. So uh, take a look at some of the cases. These are some of the, the, the style swap cases that also come with the phone. This one is my favorite here. This is the carbon one. It's got kind of like a silicone skin type finish to it. And they're super thin when on the device itself. And they look really, really great. So they don't really offer too much protection, maybe just against, you know, small little nicks and scratches and bumps and whatnot. Um, but they also don't add much bulk, and that's that's probably really, really hard to find on a lot of smartphones these days. Um, then you also have, I think this one's called, like, apricot, and then you have, like, a walnut color of a wood. Then you have the bamboo, which is also pretty cool as well. Uh, one of my personal favorites. And uh, it's definitely, it's definitely real wood in there. You can smell, smells, smells like real wood. Uh, now these all go for twenty-five dollars a piece, and you can buy these again from their website, OnePlus, and you can just you know add them as you're purchasing the phone. Uh, and then this one goes for twenty dollars. This is a sandstone finish, which a lot of people really like. It's kind of rough in texture, uh, but gives you really good grip, and it's um, minimal in protection as well. Uh, they also have a dash char char car charger. This is $30 uh, and something you'll probably need to buy if you plan on charging your phone in the car and doing it with incredibly insane speeds. Uh, build quality, like most things OnePlus, is pretty darn nice. Uh, very high quality. It's like a nail file aluminum thing there. Wow. Awesome. So that is the OnePlus 3. Uh, stay tuned to FanDroid, we're going to be giving you a full review in the coming days after I've played around with the phone a little bit more. But again, super impressed with the phone. I, I mean, I can't believe I'm even saying that considering I um, wasn't too excited about the OnePlus 1 or the OnePlus 2. Uh, but this is much, much different. I think this is easily my favorite Android device of the year so far. Stay tuned to FanDroid.com for more. I'm Chris Childs with FanDroid.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.